Mischief, mischief tonight. New rules tonight for teens at the Del Amo Fashion Center in Torrance. They're required to be with an adult or leave the property by 3 p.m. Yeah, and we know how this happened. The new rule comes after two very rowdy and frightening nights when groups of teens swarm the mall, leading to some fights. KKL News reporter Joy Benedict is at the mall in Torrance. She's live right now with what customers and businesses think of this new requirement, Joy. Yeah, well, it's, it's a mixed opinion, guys. I mean, teens obviously are big business when it comes to shopping malls and plazas and shopping centers like this one. Here at Delamo, they did just close. They officially close at 9 o'clock. On this side of the mall, by the Nordstrom's and other entrance, you don't see much security. But over on the other side of the mall that you can't really see from here, on the back side where the movie theaters are, they have several security check-in points lined up, making sure that those who aren't underage don't come alone. It was a busy Friday night at Delamo Fashion Center as the new age restrictions didn't seem to diminish the crowd. I think that's great because young kids, you know, you have to watch them sometimes. Starting this weekend, anyone under the age of 18 is required to be chaperoned here after 3 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. It's part of the new youth supervision policy. Nothing's wrong with that. What, for Friday and Saturday only? I think that's good. But others here think... It's a little silly. Of course, under 12, parents have, have to be there, of course, but between 12 and 16, they have to experiment. Come on. So you think it's too harsh? Yeah, of course. The mall released a statement saying in part, we take very seriously our responsibility to ensure a safe and comfortable environment for our shoppers, employers, and retailers. <laughs> the venue did have a couple of recent issues brought on by younger shoppers. In one case, the mall had to be shut down when fights broke out. I think it's a business decision, right? A decision to try and limit the issues. But some question whether a blanket policy is the right move for all who enjoy coming here. I think it's uh, it's good that they have a place to go. Um, it's important that people act responsibly. If they're not acting responsibly, um, that's that's the what you use education for, right? It's not about eliminating options for people. Now, there are a couple of exceptions to this under 18 rule. First and foremost, there's a lot of young people who work at this mall, so they are allowed to continue to do so, but they can't linger after their shift is over. The other exception is the movie theater, because a lot of teens do go to the movie theater without supervision. That is still okay, but they can't enter the vicinity except within a 15 minute window before that movie starts to sort of limit the interaction there at the mall, and then it's in, you seat, and then you leave as soon as the movie is over. Guys. Well, Joy, the teens have a lot to think about. They really have to synchronize their time now, that's for sure. Yeah. And you mentioned the movie theater in, in the mall. Get All some right. watches. That's right. All right, thank you, Joy. <laughs>